Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Starflames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're gonna talk about the entire situation between Taraji P. Henson and Mr. Keith Lee. Many of you may not know Keith Lee is a food critique. He's this guy on TikTok that he would go to restaurants, buy the food, gives it a review. And if the food is good, immediately that place would blow up. Many restaurateurs, small business owners, they would reach out to him asking him to visit and he would. Keith Lee has really made a name and a mark for himself until the point where he really has the magic to change people's lives. So, what happened between Keith Lee and Taraji? You may ask. Well, he was invited to the BET Awards because, you know, anyone that's having a buzz on TikTok, they're going to get an invite to the red carpet events. So, when he was invited, you know, Taraji P. Hansen was to do a little moment with him so that he would get some recognition so that everyone would know that Mr. Keith Lee was in the building. He was at the BET Awards and he was a big deal. But as you know, with these things, Taraji said that Keith Lee's um, seat, Keith Lee did not sit, his, sit in his seat. We don't know why that is because sometimes the seating arrangements, they do get switched up, mixed up and all of that. So Taraji made a mistake, which she apologized for on spot, but something has happened and many people were not having it. And Taraji P. Anson um, spoke out because Keith Lee dropped a rose and said, our name shall be known in every room. I want you guys to take a look at this clip. We're going to show you what happened with Taraji and Keith Lee, Keith Lee's response to the entire thing, and then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. Yours. And right now, it's something on my mind. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying I am not upset at Taraji P. Henson by any stretch of the imagination. And not only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. That one was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it feel rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more than enough for me. So to take me and my wife out of our seats, put us in different seats, give Taraji no direction to who we are or what we do, felt extremely unprepared and unprofessional to me. I'm personally a fan of Taraji. I've been for years and I always will be. I love to see her get the recognition that she deserved in that moment and had a platform and a stage that she's always deserved for this situation to take away from her moment and our moment was unfair to both of us. And another example of this is a picture of my wife has been going around and it was a small part caught from an entire moment to make it seem like she had an attitude with Taraji. My wife and myself understand the flirting that Taraji was doing was fully improv and fully joke. It was a hard situation for all of us to be in. We fully understand she made it up on the fly. I was there to just enjoy the show. I was invited. No situations in life in general. I never longed for the spotlight. If I wanted the spotlight, I would have accepted a quarter of the opportunities that's been presented to us. But none of those opportunities were for me. Okay, guys, so that was a portion of Keith Lee's response. Taraji P. Hansen also had something to say about the entire debacle. So she posted on her Instagram page, Life really is too short for this behavior. He wasn't in his seat. They give celebrities a signed seat. I rehearse all damn day to go hit my mark. And that young man wasn't in his seat. So he missed his moment. His ego is hurt. He he will be fine. I cleaned it up at the end of the show. No love lost here. Hashtag God bless. No, I am happy that, I'm so happy that, you know, Taraji said something. I'm happy that Keith Lee himself tried to clean it up, but I honestly think that his ego was bruised. It was hurt. And I definitely understand his feelings because he has given so much. He has done so much. And I believe that Keith Lee believes that it is very simple, very fair for Taraji to get his name and his identity correct. But 
I believe that if Keith Lee understands the workload that Taraji has, everything that she has to perfect, he would understand that things do happen. Yes, it was an opportunity miss. Yes, it was a moment miss, but nothing has been lost at the same time. And to see Taraji say, give him his rose, and then to see him drop the rose like that, that's a tad big bit disrespectful in my opinion, but I think that he did it his best to try and clean it up and give an explanation. I believe that his explanation that he gave is half true because oftentimes we see Keith Lee saying that, you know, it's not his moment and he doesn't want to take anything away from anyone. He tries to remain as grounded as he can. Perfection does not exist. It's an entire misunderstanding and I'm happy that he said something, Taraji said something, and I think it's time for everyone to move on. But the thing is, will this affect any other influencer being on the red carpet? I want to hear from you guys. What's your thoughts? While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.